graphenemining.com.au is back and we're talking all things graphene today. Joining me is Neil Armstrong, the commercial manager for First Graphene. Neil, it's great to see you again. How are you? Fantastic. It's great to see you again. Now, First Graphene has made a huge leap forward with one of their waterproofing solutions in cement and it was trialled in uh, South Africa. Can you tell me what this uh, solution is? Absolutely. So we've been partnering with a company called Globe Chemicals in South Africa. They're a producer of of industrial additives, basically, so used within the cement and concrete sector. Uh, What they have demonstrated recently has been a significant step forward in the performance of the waterproofing additive. So this additive gets included into your cement batching. And what it does is it allows for uh, more durability properties to be imparted into the cement, basically targeting things like reducing water permeability, so making longer lasting parts. What they've been able to demonstrate is by using small concentrations of our pure graph into the blend of, into the uh, actual mix of the, so the same waterproofing additive, has showed significant step forwards in the performance of these durability properties. So enhancing that even further than the additive alone. Uh, when it comes to durability, what's that time frame you're looking at? Because often when people report results on increasing in durability, it's very short-term focused. That's absolutely right. So cement and concrete itself is you don't want something to be just better at day zero. You want something to be better 10 years from now. Uh, these things are put in place for lifetimes. So what we are focusing on at the moment is that long-term benefits of using graphene. So not only focusing on enhancing the performance at day zero, but enhancing the performance of the overall life cycle of that part. So if something can last twice as long, you know, if this has a carbon angle to it, you, you make, you, you've halved your carbon footprint of that part if you've made it last twice as long. So our initial trials, obviously, this is a new development. So we are still in the relatively early days of, of gathering these results, but we've done up to 400-day accelerated testing. So Glade have ran a trial. Uh, they're actually using it in quite a harsh environment. So they've made a concrete slab and it's for fire testing. So they're building structures on top of this slab and they're burning them to the ground, literally, and, and studying how they burn. So it's subjecting these, uh, the, the actual cement itself to, to quite a harsh environment. Half of that slab was poured with graphene, half of that slab was poured without. Uh, and what they've actually been able to demonstrate is quite a significant step in the performance. So at day zero, they saw just under a 20% improvement in that uh, durability property. So focusing on things like water permeability. At day 400, that is extended to just over 48% improvement in water permeability. So that is the same slab over time. So what that indicates is at day zero, we saw some good improvements, but at day 400, that's even better. So what you're seeing is the non-graphene enhanced structures starting to fall apart at a normal rate. Um, but the graphene enhanced parts are obviously holding together a lot better over time. Uh, now, finally, too, with industrial additives, they're often uh, sort of made to order for each particular customer. Is yours a, a ready-made product? That's right. So Glade have actually launched this into the market now. They have about five or six um, industrial clients using the material. They're making around about 50,000 litres of this additive a month. So they're really doing this on scale. And that's often been a one of the main challenges of using graphene, particularly on the cement and concrete scale, it's often very easy to use graphene on a lab. It's a very controlled environment. You can dealing with gram or subgram quantities, but you really need to address the market properly. You need to be able to tackle this on hundreds of tons quantities. Um, so this, the method that Glade have come up with is a very simplified approach. It's basically a liquid admixture um, that can be dosed into your cement batching plant and the graphene is then incorporated into the system. This sounds like a fantastic leap forward for Pure Graph. Thank you for your time today, Neil, and I'll speak with you again soon. Thank you. Great to chat.